We are at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. Welcome into the Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week on WOTM and WOIL Television, brought to you by Sarah Automotive. It's the BB Comer Tigers hosting the Horseshoe Bend Generals uh, in a key Region 4 matchup, and we are honoring some of the seniors uh, for uh, tonight. It is senior night down at Legion Stadium for B.B. Comer. Let's head down to the field and see if we can pick up some of the audio and some of the video of these young guys. Congratulations, Drew Coleman. <laughs> Daniel Murphy. Daniel is the son of Kevin and Cindy Butler. He plays football and baseball for the B.B. Comer Tigers. Daniel plans to attend a community college after graduation to earn a degree in welding. Congratulations, Daniel Murphy. Hagen DeLee. Hagen is escorted by his parents, Tim and Karen DeLee. He has played football and baseball for the Tigers since the seventh grade. His accomplishments include first team all-county offense and defense in football, first team all-county in baseball. Hagen was also chosen to play in the East and West All-Star Games in baseball and is a senior yeah, representative for B.B. Comer's 2021 Homecoming Court. His plans are to attend college and earn a degree in physical education. After college, Hagen hopes to come back to B.B. Comer High School to teach and coach. Congratulations, Hagen DeLee. <laughs> Corey Anderson. Corey is escorted by his parents, Corey Anderson Sr. and Adrian Connor, and his sister, Kaya Anderson. He plays varsity football and basketball for the Comer Tigers. He also recently received a football offer from Huntington College. His future plans are to pursue strength and conditioning coaching at the Division I level and to eventually become an offensive coordinator. Congratulations, Corey Anderson. <laughs> Terry on Pope. Terrion is the son of Terry Pope and Sherry McElrath. He has been playing football with Comer since the Pee Wee League days. After high school, Terrion plans to go to college and then join the Air Force. Congratulations, Terrion Pope. <laughs> Jalen Corbin. Jalen is the son of Dora Corbin. He is a member of the varsity football team. After high school, he hopes to become a culinary engineer. Congratulations, Jalen Corbin. <laughs> Samantha Yoder. <laughs> Samantha is the daughter of Jimmy and Donna Yoder. She has been the manager of both the football and baseball teams for the past two years. She is also a member of Key Club, Educational Talent Search, Remock, and the Comer Dolls. After high school, Samantha plans to attend college to pursue a career in nursing, focusing more on the trauma center. Congratulations, Samantha Yoder. Now we will recognize our class of 2022 cheerleaders. We will begin with Malia Carter. <laughs> Malia is the daughter of Felicia McKinney and Spencer Carter. Malia was a member of the Marching Sound of Gold for two years. She has been a varsity cheerleader for the that last is, three uh, years. That is some of the pregame festivities. We unfortunately, due to time constraints, couldn't, can't bring you all of it, but uh, some of the happenings going on down at Legion Stadium. It is senior night as all the seniors uh, being honored and uh, we applaud them as well. This pregame uh, show brought to you by Silicon City Councilman District 3, Nate Brewer. Big football game tonight. 
I know it's a Thursday night. It is race weekend in Talladega County, and uh, that means some shuffling of games, and that's uh, one of ours tonight. We've got B.B. Calmer hosting Horseshoe Bend in a 2A Region 4 matchup. B.B. Calmer has scored 168 points in its last three football games. They are really uh, playing very, very well. Horseshoe Bend, the Generals 2-3 and three overall, 1-2 and two in Region 4, and uh, you know, they're down there on Highway 22 uh, uh, past Alexander City, and uh, you've been by the General uh, Restaurant there probably. That's a good area right there. Horseshoe Bend tonight uh, under Coach Jeremy Phillips and B.B. Comer under Coach Adam Fawcett. High School Football tonight here on WOIL Television brought to you by Sarah Automotive and our pregame by District 3 Sylacauga City Councilman Nate Brewer, our national anthem by Sylacauga Glass, starting lineups by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga and our first down by First Alabama Bank. Other sponsors include Amya, uh, Donahue Physical Therapy, Sylacauga Parks and Rec, State Representative District 33 Ben Robbins, Heritage South Federal Credit Union. Don't forget, coming up uh, next week, they've got their uh, car sale going on uh, here in Sylacauga. Uh, here with the South Federal Credit Union. Uh, Talladega County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, she was sworn in today to begin her actual uh, term because she was completing the term of a predecessor. And uh, so she begins her full term today. Talladega County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, Marble City Pharmacy presenting our halftime show. And my buddy Rick Morris, I talked with Rick just a few minutes ago down in Auburn. And he said, hey, let's continue bringing high school football uh, to the area, so we're doing that. Appreciate Rick Morris she and Coosavala Medical Center, where they uh, yesterday uh, gave out more vaccinations for uh, COVID-19. I hope that you're participating in that if, if it uh, is something you feel like you need to do. And that's Coosavala Medical Center in Sylacauga. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back with Adam Fawcett, the head football coach and athletic director at Big B. Comer High School, right after this. We will now recognize... Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money, so we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Talk a little bit about Carmichael. A couple of weeks ago, he uh, uh, was impressive throwing the football, and uh, you're going to need him down the stretch for sure. Yeah, no doubt. So uh, I think that's that's probably our biggest advantage this year is we're not a one-dimensional team. So uh, we're sitting in a in a good spot right now uh, at four and two, uh, going back into <laughs> into region play. Ideally, you know, you want to you want to win out and, and and at least be secure the number two seed and, and play at home in the first round. And, and a lot of that has to do with the the uh, competitiveness and, and the leadership of Devonte and, and what he does. And uh, he's already thrown for more more yards than he did all last season, uh, more touchdowns than he did all last season. So, uh, man, he he's really it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a uh, new start for him and, and a new spirit and, and seeing him and the energy he has and, um, you know, he, he has the freedoms. He, he did this last week. He has the freedoms if he sees something to, to make a change. And we called a play last week and uh, him and his brother, uh, Richard, they communicated something and Richard runs a completely different route and, and they, they connect on it. So. Um, you know, we, we do give them the freedoms to, hey, just be a ball player. Mm -hmm. and, and he likes that, and he likes the fact that we, that we trust in him to do that. So, um, and, and then what he gives you on both sides of the ball. You know, he's, he plays quarterback. There's not a lot of time to make adjustments because he's going to turn around and play defense too. So, um, but he, he does a good job, and, and man, I, I'm very, very pleased with how he's grown and, and uh, the relationship that he's developed with Coach Pike and, and uh, moving forward. A rare Thursday night game this week due to race weekend and Horseshoe Bend comes to town and, mm -hmm. and, and they bring an offense as <laughs> kind of uh, uh, one that you haven't seen a whole lot of in recent years. Yeah, no doubt. They, they do something different than, than everybody else in the region does. They're going to run some, some double wing stuff, some single wing. 
Uh, they'll try and run a little Notre Dame box, and uh, they're, they're just trying to get numbers. They're trying to get numbers to the edge and, and outnumber you. And um, because it's something that we haven't seen, something that you don't practice all season, it does raise a concern. Uh, you know, we still are, have, have our rules in place, and, and, uh, and that helps our guys as far as lining up and, and things like that. But uh, it's going to be important to – one, it's going to be important to get a fast start again, you know. Uh, one thing that will take them out of their element is to get a, a lead, and uh, you know if we can score and get two, you know get two scores, maybe three scores mm -hmm. ahead, that takes them out of out of what they do, and then they've got to they've got to kind of change what they do. So uh, hopefully that that's what we can accomplish. Um, you know defensively they they get after it too. They they run a four three, and uh, we've been we've. We've played odd fronts for the past three weeks too, so now we're going to face an even front. We've been practicing that, and um, you know, I, I think we, we've had a good week of practice, and I think we're we're ready to go. So um, the short week always always scares mm -hmm. you a little bit with it being a short week. And uh, Horseshoe Ben was off last week, so uh, you know, Co Coach Phillips, I, I think he requested film like a week ago Tuesday, so he's had he's had a while to to. Uh, prepare for us and get ready for us and, and I'm sure that they're all healed and rested because they, they did have a week off. So big region um, game for you tonight. No good. doubt. Back back into region play, a big region game, uh, a chance to get the, the a third a third region win and um, and continue to, to try and stay in that top top tier. So a um, lot a of, lot of big region games tonight I think or, or this week. Uh, and I think the region's going to kind of start clearing itself mm -hmm. up because, uh, you know, Ramber and, and Lafayette play tonight. Uh, Fayetteville and Randolph County play. So um, it's going to start kind of clearing clearing itself up and seeing seeing where everybody is. Uh, I know Vincent has to go to Lynette. So um, ho hopefully it settles all out and, and we can see where, where, it, to, where it ends up. But uh, the best thing for us to do is continue to win ball games and, and control what we can control. Coach Adam Fawcett, the head football coach and athletic director at B.B. Colmer uh, High School. Our guest this morning is set for uh, uh, tonight's Horseshoe Bend battle. That's a, kick, a 7 o'clock kickoff. And speaking of kicks, what a huge advantage for B.B. Colmer to be doing so well in the, in the kicking game, which yeah. is something that you didn't really see coming into fall camp. No doubt. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's been... You know, to, to not have to worry about, hey, what, what is your two-point play going to be? Um, if you don't get this one and they score and they have a kicker in a 7-6 and then you got to get the next one. And uh, so uh, for, for us to be able to, to have that, that advantage is huge. And, and Noah's done a great job with it. You know, he's – I tell him all the time, he's a true kicker. He, you know, I'm, I tell him he's a weird bird sometimes and he just laughs at me. But – um, he does a great job. Uh, we're, we're on him about kickoffs uh, right now, just being consistent in kickoffs. Uh, he'll, he'll kick a great, uh, you know, during kickoff, he'll kick a great ball. And then we come back and kick off again, and he'll hit a knuckleball or <laughs> it'll go out of bounds or whatever. So uh, trying to work with him on that and, and uh, get him better at that so he can be the full-time uh, kickoff guy too. So. Um, Trying to find if there's any his historians, any Comer uh, athletic historians out there, we're trying to find out the last time BB uh, Comer kicked a field goal. So uh, he keeps telling me it was 18 years ago, but I, you know, I said, "Well, where did you find that?" He's like, "That's just what I heard." You know? <laughs> so, uh, but it, it was neat, man. It, it was and the excitement from everybody else. Like we we lined up to kick the field goal last week, and the coaches in the headset were like, "Coach, are you sure you want to do this?" Like. And, you know, he didn't do very well during warm-ups and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, why, you know, why not? Let's give him a shot. It's not, you know, it's not a tight game at this point. It's not, you know, we're, we're too far out. There was like, like two, I think, two and a half or six seconds left, something like that. So I knew once the ball was snapped and kicked, it would go into halftime mm -hmm. anyway. So uh, that wouldn't be an issue. And he, uh, he split the uprights and everybody was excited and, um, you know, it's just good. It's good morale for the team too, and it, it's a lot of pressure off the team's back. It's uh, no doubt about it. Whether speaking, they realize it or not, it is. Yeah, speaking of the team, this team feeds off the crowd excitement, and we want a lot of fans at Legion Stadium tonight. Yeah, no doubt. We we need as many people as we can to to be there, and 
uh, man, the, just the the noise and the the the, the cowbells and the whatever else is is uh, noise maker wise. Those those kids feed off of it. They feed off the noise of the band and and people just getting excited. And uh, last week the 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 crowd got loud and and it, it just fuels our guys. So and it's also senior night tonight. So we get a chance to honor our seniors before the game uh, and their families. And uh, you know that that. <clears throat> that presentation starts at 6:25, and uh, this senior bunch is kind of this is my first bunch. So mm -hmm. uh, I've had these guys for four years, and um, we talked about. Uh, I talked to one of them yesterday, and we were just trying to we were figuring up records and what possible records could be, and and this group could could possibly graduate with a winning record. And a, a four which was unthought of a couple of years right. ago. Right, and and that's you know that's that's huge for them. That's Again, uh, high, high school football is about the memories and and all the stories that you get to tell and the, the class reunion where you get to uh, reminisce and and for those guys to be able to come back and, and say, hey, you know, we went to the playoffs uh, three times, we uh, we had a winning record, you know, we did this, we did that. So uh, this this graduating class has a lot to brag about as far as athletics goes. When you came uh, to B.B. Comer High School, they'd had some rough years. They had some tradition earlier uh, with uh, tremendous football teams and great athletes, but it had been in a lull. You take over, what has been the difference in the time that you've been there in the previous 10 to 12 years? Uh, you know, I can't really speak for the previous 10 to 12 years. I think the, uh, the difference now is that we want to be there. and. Um, you know we're we're there we're 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 embedded there i've got roots there and um you know it, it helps to have a great coaching staff and my coaching staff wants to be there and that that's across the board that's all sports it's not just just uh football all, all of my coaches want to be there uh they truly care about the kids and um you know so, some days some days the kids are um they don't like us as much as other days but but we also we also have a we also have high expectations, mm -hmm. and I think the high expectations has led led the, the athletes to work harder and, and to want to be better. And um, I, I'll never forget the first meeting that, that we had, and, and I just explained to them that my expectations are high, and I, I expect to be a competitive team. I expect to be physical. I expect to, to make playoff runs, and I expect us to work hard. And... Um, they bought into that, and and it, it's all about the buy-in of it. It's it's not uh, it, it's not a it's not a special potion, or it's not a, you know I don't I don't have a wand to wave over them or anything like that. It's it's the fact that they they have bought in. They wanted to change, and they wanted to they wanted to have some success. All right, so. National Anthem tonight brought to you by Silicaga Glass on Broadway here in Silicaga. We're moments away from uh, kickoff as B.B. Comer hosting Horseshoe Bend. Coach Adam Fossett, you uh, saw him earlier uh, from today on our Daybreak show talking about uh, this B.B. Comer football team and how vastly improved that they are. And they are that. They've lost two games. Uh, they lost to Montgomery Catholic, which is unbeaten in Class 3A, ranked number three in the state. 
and they lost to Lynette, who is ranked this week number two in 2A. So the teams that they've lost to are uh, pretty prolific football programs and B.B. Comer has uh, rebounded from their loss to Lynette. Uh, they go against uh, Horseshoe Bend tonight. Jeremy Phillips, the head football coach at Horseshoe Bend. They run the wing T. They run uh, the double wing and, and that's something B.B. Comer hasn't seen this year. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how B.B. Comer's defense uh, handles that. Uh, our pregame show tonight is brought to you by uh, Nate Brewer, District 30, uh, District 3, Sylacauga City Councilman, our national national anthem by Sylacauga Glass, and our starting lineups coming up after the break, presented by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga. We'll take a time out and be back with those starting lineups for both teams right after this. Tired of being treated as a zero at car dealers? Well, at the Sierra Automotive Group in Sylacauga, you're the hero with zero down and low monthly payments. Tony Sarah Ford says try zero down on F-150s with payments starting at $419 per month. Sarah Honda says zero down on Civic LXs starting at $339 per month. Sarah Nissan says zero down on new Nissan kicks and payments starting at $299 per month. At Sarah Automotive, you're never a zero with zero down and low monthly payments. Sarah Automotive, located on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. The Community Funeral Home starting lineup for the Horseshoe Bend Generals. Offensively at quarterback, number 10, Luke Jones. Running back, number 13, Holt Tidwell. At a running, running back, Gavin Braswell, number 14. Fullback is Chandler uh, McMath, number three. The tight end, Jacob Turner, number 15. At uh, right tackle is number 74, Dewey Freeman. Right guard, number 64, Taylor Humphrey. At center, Brody Bryan, number 75. Left guard, TJ Stegall, age uh, number 56. Uh, left tackle, number 69, Sawyer Smith. Uh, uh, wide receivers are Cully Sharp, number 11, and Charlie Shivers, number 8. That's your offensive uh, lineup for the Generals. Defensively, uh, the two corners are Chandler McMath and Luke Jones. Strong safety is Gavin Brazel. Free safety, Cullen Sharp. The uh, linebackers, uh, uh, Ryland, uh, Raylan Sharp, TJ Stegall. Uh, outside backer is Holt Tidwell. Defensive ends, Taylor Humphrey and uh, Jacob Turner. The defensive tackles, Dewey Freeman and Sawyer Smith. That's your offense and defense for the Horseshoe Bend Generals for B.B. Comer defensive, or offensively at quarterback. Uh, number eight, Devontae Carmichael. Uh, they've got uh, uh, Kamori Harris back this week. He uh, uh, did not play last week against Winterboro for favoring an ankle. He is well and will start tonight. The wideouts, Cortez Harris, number eight, and James Carmichael, number four. The uh, uh, slot wide receiver is Deleon Welch, number two. The tackle, the left tackle, Chris Wilson, number 51. Left guard, Corey Anderson, number 57. At center, Drew Hallman, number 55. The right guard, Zach Carpenter, number 65. And right tackle, Hagen DeLee, number 54. The tight end slash fullback, Adam Odom, number 54, or 44, I should say. And wide receiver, Jason Smith, number 13. Defensively, uh, for B.B. Comer tonight, uh, line up with the nose guard, Zach Carpenter, number 65. Uh, Terion Pope, uh, defensive tackle, number 64. And Hagen DeLee, uh, number 54. The backers, Adam Odom, number 44. John Murphy, number 20. And Devontae Carmichael, number 8. And Corey Anderson, number 57. Uh, defensive back, James Carmichael. Uh, Jesse Graham, number 15. And uh, free safety, uh, Devin Harvey, number 12. Strong safety, Deleon Welch, number two. And uh, free safety is Devin Harvey, number 12. These uh, offensive defensive lineups brought to you by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga, Charles Woods, and Cadero Woods at Community Funeral Home uh, in Sylacauga. The captains for B.B. Uh, Comer tonight is uh, 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 Buchanan, also uh, Welch, and uh, John Murphy. Murphy had a, a very strong game last week at linebacker against the uh, Warnerboro Bulldogs. For the Generals, uh, number 14, Gavin Braswell, and number 13, Holt Tidwell. The uh, captains for uh, the Generals from uh, Horseshoe Bend. You see the captains headed out to the field. This pregame corn toss brought to you by Silicon City Councilman District 3, 
Nate Brewer. Other sponsors include Amya, uh, Donahue Physical Therapy, Sylacauga Parks and Rec, State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Heritage South Federal Credit Union, Valley County Revenue Commissioner Sidney Pennington, Marble City Pharmacy, Rick Morris, and Coosa Valley Medical Center. We look to the field for the uh, coin toss. B.B. Comer uh, favored coming into this game. Uh, they are uh, four and two and uh, looking for another region win. And B.B. Comer playing very, very well uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, they uh, doing what they have to do and their linebackers are very active. I know they're glad to uh, bring back uh, tonight uh, the uh, halfback that's played so well for them and that's uh, uh, Kamori Harris, number 23. We'll see how well he does tonight. Coin toss has been made and B.B. Colbert will uh, Received to get things underway, and the generals defer to the second half, so they'll get the football to begin the third quarter. B.B. Comer and Horseshoe Ben from Legion Stadium in Silicon My grandson, Zach, who's normally with me uh, for our high school games, he has a game of his own tonight over in Childersburg. He uh, is playing with City League football, and uh, hope he does well tonight. Granddad hates that I'm not able to see him play, but... Uh, uh, hopefully they'll get a W tonight over in Childerburg. This is a Thursday night edition of High School Football brought to you by Sarah Automotive due to uh, race weekend in Tyler County. Big weekend tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Weather looks good uh, for race weekend in Tyler County. The fall race uh, races, I should say, and uh, Tyler County schools are out a half day tomorrow and all day on Monday, so thus uh, setting this game up for tonight here at Legion Stadium, B.B. Comer and Horseshoe Bend. Back with the opening kickoff as the Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week continues right after this. Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. Back to Legion Stadium in Silicaga as B.B. Calmer hosting Horseshoe Bend. With B.B. Calmer trying to get another region win. They made the playoffs last year, went into the second round uh, before losing, and uh, they uh, under Coach Adam Fawcett in his fourth year at B.B. Uh, Comer. He's done a fantastic job, and this football team has grown. Uh, they have, uh, uh, I think, 13 seniors, maybe. Uh, he's really built this program from the ground up after some lean years for B.B. Comer football uh, 10 to 12 years ago. So uh, we're uh, glad to see B.B. Comer uh, picking up the pace a little bit with Coach Adam Fawcett and Horseshoe Bend preparing us to kick off. off the and it's David Layfield to kick it away to the Tigers of B.B. Comer. It is a short kick. Taken at the 40-yard line and across the 45 to the 49-yard line. On the return is Dele, uh, James Carmichael. So it'll be first down for B.B. Comer. Uh, Anderson with the tackle. It'll be first down B.B. Comer at their own 49-yard line. Devontae Carmichael, the senior quarterback, and he's got Welch in there with him tonight. Uh, Welch played a lot last week. Uh, and Comer Harris is not starting rolling uh, and throwing deep on the first play of the night, and it is incomplete, almost oh, intercepted. Pass, incomplete. Power, on the coverage uh, is Braswell for the general. So B.B. Comer wanting to throw the football more, and uh, Adam Odom comes into the game. He caught a touchdown pass a couple of weeks ago for B.B. Comer. So second down and 10. On the 49 yard line. Off 
left end. Tripped up at midfield and tackled with Delion Welch. Delion Welch. Yeah, nice tackle uh, by Sharp. So third down and long for B.B. Coleman. By Sharp. B.B. Comer ineffective the first two uh, offensive plays. Let's see where they go here with the third down and long. Ball at midfield, 45, 40, 39 yard line. It'll be a first down for B.B. Comer as Carmichael. Threw it to James Carmichael. So it's the first down, B.B. Coleman. Sharp makes the tackle for the Generals. And that's the first Bank of Alabama first down. So the initial first down of the night. B.B. Coleman at the General 39-yard line. Cortez Harris come to the top of the screen. Trips receivers there now. Here's Welch, and Welch is tackle for a loss. Good job by Gary. Hope Tidwell. Stop by Tidwell. So no gain on the play. Mel lost a yard. Second it down two. and call it 12. From the general 42-yard line. B.B. Comer and unable to run it early on in the football game. Second down and long. General's on a five-man front. And they may have jumped offside. Then they throw it on this side. And dancing but nowhere to go is a B.B. Connell receiver. And uh, that's uh, Richard Weed. So it'll be third down and long for the Tigers. Trying to stretch the field a little bit, but so far it hadn't worked very well. Carmichael, the senior quarterback, will load up to throw. He's got time, now he throws, got a man wide open at the 25 yard line. Inside the 25, falling to the 22, the first bank of Alabama first down. And the completion uh, goes to Chris Garrett. Garrett ran a good pattern, time, Carmichael hit him, and it'll be a first down for B.B. Comer, first bank of Alabama first down. So the Tigers at the general 21-yard line. Corey Harris is in the backfield now. And he takes it off right tackle, and he has stood up. He may have got a yard. Harris has been injured the last couple of weeks. So bring up second down and nine. Harris carries. Play gains a yard. The Tigers trying to get deeper into general territory here in the first quarter. Here's Harris. Breaking the tackle, Harris inside the 10, inside the five. Boy Harris touchdown. Boy Harris uh, picks up where he left off the last time he carried the football. Harris from 23 yards out for the B.B. Comer touchdown. He's a good one, he's just a sophomore too. Weimer with a point after here. And this has been a real plus for B.B. Comer this year with the extra point kicking. He's been very, very good. Bad snap, kicks it up anyway, and the kick is true. So B.B. Comer with uh, a long touchdown drive and uh, a 23 yard touchdown run from Kamori Harris. It puts the Tigers on the board and they lead it by a score of seven to nothing. The Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week from Legion Stadium continues after this. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Silicaga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery, 
to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. 7.55 to go in the first period. B.B. Palmer with their initial drive for a touchdown, and they lead it 7 to nothing. The Tigers kick it off. And is taken at the 30-yard line and cut down at the 34-yard line. On the stop for B.B. Palmer, Gaddis. So let's see uh, how the offense operates for Horseshoe Bend. They run a uh, double wing a lot of times. They'll run the spread. And let's see what they do tonight. B.B. Comer's practiced hard against this, and they're running everything tight right now. Right side and uh, nothing happening there. Maybe Comer with uh, Hagen to lead the senior tackle with the stop. Second down and ten. McMath carries for the general the lead, makes the stop. So second down and ten for the Generals from Horseshoe Bend High School. We've got a timeout. As Horseshoe Bend takes one, we'll take one as well. B.B. Comer leads Horseshoe Bend by a score of seven to nothing. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. After the Horseshoe Bend timeout, we're back to action at Legion Stadium with 7-17 remaining in the first quarter. B.B. Comer leads this one by a score of 7 to nothing. There's other action tonight, too, as Fayetteville is over in Randolph County uh, for a game tonight as well. Second down, and B.B. Comer trying to string it out. They're trying to get on the corner and can't do it. On the carry is uh, Tidwell, but B.B. Comer had a lot of men over there, including Devontae Carmichael. Tidwell on the carry for the general. Picks up two yards. Harvey so second, uh, third down and about eight now for the generals, and so far, so good for B.B. Comer's defense. That defensive uh, front for the Tigers, uh, very active. with Holman and Carpenter and Anderson and Dealey. Third down and long. Rolling, looking, looking, now uh, flipping it out and is caught close to the first down. Jones pass and, uh, complete. Carmichael over to make the tackle along with uh, Welch. But it's gonna be very close to the first down as they threw it out to uh, Holt Tidwell. It'll be fourth and short. Eight games, eight yards. And uh, you would think Sharp the generals will go for it here at the 43 yard line. And he's stopped by Carmichael. Generals have fourth down and one yard. Luke to go. Jones, the quarterback for the generals. So here we go fourth down and about a yard. He did Palmer coming up on the line of scrimmage. And they bust it for the first down and more across the 48. B.B. Coleman says they've recovered the football. Let's see. They got the cameras on it, and B.B. Coleman says they have recovered, and they do just exactly that. And recovery by Jesse Graham. And you watch it right here, and B.B. Coleman just snatches it out of the ball carrier's hand. You see it uh, on the ground there for sure. 
And the fumble. By the generals, and uh, that was Anderson. So Rigby Comer creates a turnover, recovers a fumble at the general 48 yard line. Carmichael to throw. Throws deep down the field, and it is caught inside the five, and it's a touchdown. Uh, right at the time. maybe it's uh, in the one, at the one yard line. That is Richard Weed. And we've seen Weed. He is a freshman, and he has some speed. So it's first and goal for Big E. Comer. At about the one yard line, as Weed was kept out of the end zone. Big E. Comer goes with the big backs this time including Odom. And they go off right tackle and Buddy nowhere to go. Great job defensively by Chandler McMath, the defensive end. Maury Harris on the carry, but he lost four yards. So still second and goal. Actually lost three yards, but it's at the four yard line, so second and goal. For BB Coleman. Tigers bring in Deleon Welch. Add a little more speed. Here's Carmichael getting ready to take the snap at the four. Carmichael to Welch. Welch dances near the goal line. He stopped at the two. So third down and go. Good job defensively uh, by Holt Tidwell, the senior. So quickly, B.B. Comer up on the football, third down and goal at the general two-yard line. And quarterback keeper with Carmichael, he drives his way into the end zone for a touchdown for B.B. Comer. So after the fumble recovery, B.B. Comer hits on a big pass play from uh, Carmichael to weed and then uh, pushing it in from two yards out is Devontae Carmichael. It's 13 to nothing, B.B. Coleman. Point after by Weaver to follow out of the hold of Carmichael. 350 in the first quarter. The kick is shanked, it's no good. So with uh, 350 to go in the first quarter, B.B. Coleman on top, 13 to nothing. Back to Legion Stadium right after this. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. B.B. Comer with a 13 to nothing lead over Horseshoe Bend uh, with 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Wimmer will kick off for the Tigers. Wimmer will kick off for B.B. Comer. Brazil back deep for the general. He has done, he's been effective kicking the football pretty deep. And this time he shanks it out of bounds and that's not gonna please Coach Fawcett because they worked on that. Coach Foss is not happy about it. And it's gonna give uh, the generals good field position. So uh, Wimmer missed the extra point. And uh, then he shanked his kickoff. And you know, it's a great story with him. He wasn't even gonna play football. And he uh, tells Coach Foss, he said, hey, you know, I, I think I, I can kick. And Coach Fawcett didn't think that much about it. And the kid just says, hey, well, give me a chance. And he did. And he won the position, you know, the, uh, the job of kicking extra points and kicked off. So uh, first down and 10. The horseshoe bend. Big running room. This guy's got the speed. He's going to be pulled down at the 30. Inside the 30 at the 28 yard line on the carry is Hope Tidwell. And uh, he did a fantastic job. They just clean out that left side of BB Comer. And uh, fortunately, Welch was able to get him to the ground, but not 
until he got the first bank of Alabama first down. So 27 yard line, first down and 10 for the Generals. Little shovel and B.B. Palmer has him and throw him to the ground. First one to get there is uh, Devin Harvey, the sophomore. On the carry is uh, Gavin Braswell. Braswell's a senior, 5'11". So uh, pick up of two, so second down and eight. Three minutes on the board. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. B.B. Comer leads at 13 to nothing, and Horseshoe Bend threatening at the Tiger 29. Left side, and a little running room again for Hope Tidwell. He's short of the first down, but he goes inside the 25. On the stop for B.B. Comer, Corey Anderson, the senior. So third down and about five. Four horseshoe bend at the B.B. Palmer 23 yard line. They run the wishbone this time. And busting through for the first down inside the 20 to about the 17 yard line. Is that okay? Got my well. First bank of Alabama first down. And I say it's fourth down, he's short on the first down. down first. One yard to get fourth and short. Hard to see the change. Fourth down and short from the uh, 13 yard line. They run the wishbone again. This time they get the first down. Jones handed to McMath, who got the first down. Sharp picks up the first down for so the first general. down at the Biggie Comer 16 yard line. First, first bank of Alabama, first down. Got my blanket ship. Stay with that wishbone. Jones in the center. We we'll call her with James Carmichael making the tackle. Giselle Carey stopped by Murphy Blankenship. Giselle with the carry. And Harvey helps out. So it'll be second down now. I don't know if we can have a football game leaving stadium in Silicon without a train coming by. You hear the horn. I think it's the same train that I got stopped by coming to the stadium earlier. Second down. It's a play they run uh, a couple of three times. Been pretty effective. This is Hope Kidwell. B.B. Coleman does a better job defensively. Anderson and Harvey on the tackle. So third down for Horseshoe Bend. Late in the first quarter. And it may tick down to zero before we get another playoff here. And I think that's going to be the case as B.B. Comer has put two touchdowns on the board in the first quarter and lead Horseshoe Bend by a score of 13 to nothing. Back to Legion Stadium after this. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Now offering Tempur-Pedic's newest ProBreeze cooling mattress. Cooler when you lie down, cooler when you fall asleep, and cooler all night long. Wellness spaces are also available. Visit King's Mattress Gallery, downtown Sylacauga today. Your local Sealy and Tempur-Pedic retailer. You see, uh, B.B. Palmer 
Coach Hale is joining his team, defensive team on. And Coach Adam Fawcett looking on as well. There is the Horseshoe Bend band. They'll be performing at halftime. Second quarter action brought to you by Donahue Physical Therapy in Silicon Valley. New building and uh, on uh, West Fort Williams in Silicon When you talk about uh, expanded service, uh, they can offer that to you now and expanded parking too at Donahue Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams in Silicon The Horseshoe Bend with a second down here. Coleman may have jumped onside. I have a come down the play. Okay, the, the tackle over there. Uh, jumped offside, so that'll mark off five yards and put it inside the 10 yard line. So, what you've been threatening to uh, put points on the board, and BB Comer sending in substitutions. Caden Brown checks in. They put the big defensive line in. And on the wishbone. And slashing inside the five to the four yard line. A nice uh, run again by Jidwolf. So it's a host of tides. Inside the five now. Horseshoe Ben uh, with uh, two and three overall record and one and two in region play. So here we go. Wishbone set behind Jones. Jones turns and B.B. Comer stands the ball carrier up for no gain. Sharp carry. Good job by, Harvey by the Tigers. Going to bring up fourth down. At the three yard line. B.B. Comer leads it 13 to nothing. The defense trying to make a stand here. Coming in is Chandler McMath. Jones under center from the wishbone. And uh, B.B. Comer had to call a timeout. I don't think they had enough players on the field. 13 to nothing, while we've got a moment, let me mention some of our wonderful sponsors that make high school football possible. State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins. And boy, Ben has been a uh, just fantastic uh, bringing plenty of energy uh, to District 33 and uh, fresh ideas, bold leadership, a true conservative. That is Ben Robbins, District 33 State Representative, and already bringing jobs into the region and uh, helping to be a part of bringing jobs in the region. Also, a more internet service. They're working on that, so Ben's done a fantastic job with that. Heritage South Federal Credit Union, don't forget about their big uh, uh, car sale. I think it's next week, uh, and this is a big deal. They've got all these car dealers together out on Highway 280 at the store there, and uh, they really, really uh, offer some great bargains and uh, new and previously owned vehicles. That is uh, Heritage South Federal Credit Union, their annual car sale going on next week. At the three yard line, it is fourth down. Well, horseshoe Ben. B.B. Comer with uh, big defensive front up. Here we go. Pitch trying to go outside. B.B. Comer's got him hemmed up and trying to get to the corner. Can he do it? I believe he does. I believe he hit the pylon. Yeah, they had him hemmed up and he got away. Great, great job by the running back, Brazel. You see right here, B.B. Comer got penetration. 
and uh, he jukes the defender right there and gets away from him and gets into the end zone. He juked Carmichael, and it's 13 to six now. Nice drive by Horseshoe Bend. One after to follow. Layfield, 10.33 to go in the first half. Place down, kick up, and the kick is good. B.B. Culver leads Horseshoe Bend by a score of 13 to seven. We're back to Legion Stadium in Silicaga right after this. Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money. So we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Impressive drive by the Horseshoe Bend offense. They get their first touchdown of the night and trail it 13 to seven. They did well in the wishbone, but boy, B.B. Coleman missed an opportunity to make a tackle behind the line of scrimmage on fourth down and couldn't get it done. Layfield to kick off. Taken in at the 27-yard line, and up the field he goes. One man to beat, and he can't get that one, but a nice run back. I'll tell you, this guy is going to be something. Uh, Richard Weed. He got blinding speed. They almost broke that one. When he uh, turned the speed on, he's something else. Wickersham saved a touchdown. B.B. Comer first and 10 at the Horseshoe Bend 46 yard line. B.B. Comer will have to hurry. Carmichael. Hitting inside the 45 to about the 44 yard line. Elion Welch. So not a whole lot of gain, but B.B. Uh, Comer with a second down and uh, a short eight. And here's the Tigers with the play call from the sideline. Devontae Carmichael, the senior penalty flag is down. That is going to be against B.B. Comer and another penalty. Legal procedure against the Tigers. So that'll back it up five yards, second down, and about 13 now. Big Comer's had some success throwing it down the field. Let's see if they go back to it. And here's Horseshoe Ben jumping offside. That's TJ Stiegel. So you give it right back to BB Comer on that five yards. And uh, Stiegel is 200 pound, 5'11. He can't hide. He's a sophomore. So we move the chains again, or move the yard marker again, to second down and eight. At the 44 yard line. Carmichael looking. He's loading up to throw the home run ball again. And it's almost intercepted. Not a good throw by Carmichael. And almost picked off by Cully Sharp. There's a flag on the field. Penalty flag is down. Let's see what this is going to be. Probably against. Uh, Tigers will be penalized for an ineligible receiver downfield. Ineligible receiver downfield. That is not good. Apparently, uh, the generals declined the penalty. The penalty was declined by the generals. Eight yards to go. So third down and eight. Here's 
Michael. BB Coma leads it 13 to 7. Carmichael throws. He got a man wide open. And this one may be history inside the five yard line. And it'll be a first and goal as uh, James Carmichael with the reception. That was a strike from Devontae Carmichael. And that is a first bank of Alabama first down at the five yard line for the Tigers. Have a timeout for an injury. BB Coleman got an injured player, and that may be Carmichael. It is uh, James Carmichael who made the reception. He's a junior. And uh, hopefully he just had the uh, air knocked out of him a little bit. Let's see. 13 to 7, BB Coleman with the lead. We'll uh, get back and check out the injured player for the Tigers right after this. Tired of being treated as a zero at car dealers? Well, at the Sierra Automotive Group in Sylacauga, you're the hero with zero down and low monthly payments. Tony Sarah Ford says try zero down on F-150s with payments starting at $419 per month. Sarah Honda says zero down on Civic LXs starting at $339 per month. Sarah Nissan says zero down on new Nissan Kicks and payments starting at $299 per month. At Sarah Automotive, you're never a zero with zero down and low monthly payments. Sarah Automotive, look at it on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. 9.15 to go in the first half as Carmichael is helped off the field. His first and goal for the Tigers at the general five-yard line. Kamori Harris back in the game for the Tigers. He scored one touchdown here in the first half. And he gets it again and he's hit uh, at the line of scrimmage and pulled back. Not much at all inside. Uh, good job defensively by Jacoby Glenn, the sophomore. No gain on the play. So second down and goal. DB Coleman brings in Michael Kirksey, the freshman. So second down and goal for the Tigers. They not hadn't been able to move the Generals much. Uh, uh, Running the football so far. And that's a nice four yard run, however. You get the football to Kamori Harris and give him a step, and he's in the end zone. Kamori Harris from four yards out. Look at that move. You don't teach those moves, and it's just pure athletic ability. Harris with his second touchdown of the night. BB Comer leads it 19 to 7. Probably going to see him go for two right here uh, with uh, the missed extra point a little bit earlier. 19 to 7, Big E. Coleman. 8-15, As the Tigers will get the uh, play from the sideline, 8-15 to go in the first half. It's 13 to 7, they haven't changed it, so it should be 19 to 7 now. Here's the quarterback rolling, 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 throwing, and it's called a successful two-point conversion. And uh, that is uh, Richard Weed, the freshman. And the penalty flag is down, however, and that might negate that. Let's see what the penalty is. So the two point conversion apparently uh, wiped off for holding against BB Comer. Oh, wow. Now they'll, they'll try the point after. They'll bring Weimer in, the sophomore. Weimer kicked a 29-yard field goal. I think it's 29, maybe 23-yard field goal last week for the Tigers in their win over Winterboro. And this one is going to be uh, about 33 yards. So he'll have to put a leg in it. Carmichael the hole, placed down, and uh, that one is muffed too, but he's got a leg into it. I think he got that from through there. He did. Wow. <laughs> 20 to 7. BB Coleman with the lead as Wimmer kicks a long extra point. That thing was 33 yards. And he had to hesitate, but he got a leg into it. So uh, BB Comer increases their lead to 20 to 7 over Horseshoe Bend. 
The Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week in part brought to you tonight by Marble City Pharmacy. They'll be sponsoring our okay, halftime show. And both bands will be performing plane, in a little while. The, uh, the uh, halftime show by Marble City Pharmacy. And boy, if you haven't been in their store and looked at their gift, uh, department well, it is top notch South for sure and of course uh, Jared and Jacob and all the pharmacists over at uh, Marble Thank City you. Pharmacy proud to be a part of high school football they present our halftime Whatever show coming up in just a few minutes my buddy Rick Morris what do you say about Rick Morris a hometown guy that uh, has done well but he hasn't forgotten his hometown and uh, he has been very very supportive of our student athletes uh, and he's a guy that you're going to hear from more down the line, uh, Rick Morris. And uh, he is a, a giver for sure, That's supporter. Correct. And we're glad to have Rick with us uh, as part of our sponsorship of high school football. Maury Harris getting in uh, on the special team from B.B. Comer. Different kicker this time for the Tigers. And is picked up at the 30-yard line, circling right in. And, some running room across the 35 to the 38 yard line. Kickoff return by McMath. <coughs> so it's first down for Horseshoe Bend, training 20 to seven. They marked it at the 40 yard line. So B.B. Comer defensively, let's see if they uh, are able to slow down this wishbone. That's what they've been running. They go right back to it again. Now then they split it. Jones under center. Off right in is Brazel. He's uh, taken down by Harris. Harris, a senior for B.B. Comer. Pick up about six, second down and four, maybe a second and five now. Nice crowd from Horseshoe Bend over in Tallapoosa County joining us tonight. B.B. Comer showing blitz, and boy, they hit the ball carrier and knock him back. Devin Harvey, the sophomore, along with uh, Hagen DeLee. Carmichael there as well. So third down and four at the 46-yard line. B.B. Comer no leads Horseshoe Bend 20 to seven. B.B. Comer scored over 50 points in each of their last three football games. They lead here 20 to seven. Once you've been in the third and four. Off left end is Brazel, and Brazel headed to the house. And he's tripped up at the 13 yard line, but another great run, the First Bank of Alabama first down. And uh, Brazel, he's done that a lot tonight. He's got pretty good speed. He uh, forces a missed tackle there, and he runs straight down the field, and he's finally tackled. So it'll be first down and 10 from the 13 yard line in B.B. Comer territory. Good job uh, defensively by Devin Harvey then. That's up on the carry, second down for the Generals. Near the 15 yard line. Getting late in the first half. And the Tigers holding to a 20 to seven lead. The Horseshoe Bend threatening again. Off right tackle. Take it down to the 13 yard line. Odom on the stop. Odom and Harris. McMath on the carry. Harris helping out as well. So to bring up third down now. Well, Horseshoe Bend. Donahue Physical Therapy presenting second quarter action here at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. 
It is senior night for the Tigers. Five minutes to go in the first half. So B.B. Coleman. Trying to make a stop defensively and hanging on for dear life is Hagen to Lee and it pays off for Hagen. He hung on to the jersey till he got some help. Carmichael there to wrap it up so to bring up fourth down. Horseshoe well, Ben's got an injured player. That is Brazel. He's been a good one for him here the first half. B.B. Comer leads it by a score of 20 to 7. We'll take a timeout and get back to Legion Stadium with the 424 to go in the first half. The Tigers lead it 20 to 7. Amya Inc. is the leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. Brazel, the injured player, uh, walking off under his own power. The Horseshoe Bend will come back out on the field, trailing 20 to seven and 424 to go in the first half. At the 15 yard line. They go back to the wishbone. They've been very successful with that. And the left tackle has moved. That's going to cost them five yards. Sawyer Smith, the sophomore, moved prematurely, so that will mark it back five yards. We've got to get to the four-yard line for a first down. Looking to throw it, in trouble. Steps up in the pocket, and he's gonna be pulled down at the 18-yard line. Jones carries out by the lead. The Tigers. Hagen to Lee with the tackle. Down. The first down in their own 18-yard line. So B.B. Comer takes over on downs that was and down will have it at their own 18. The the Knowing Coach Fawcett, he probably not going to sit on this, leading 20 That's to correct. 7. Here's Carmichael. Here's Harris. And Harris uh, up near the 25-yard line. Harris. The if you're going to tackle Harris, you better have your lunch pail. Totally sharp gets him down. Picked up seven yards. Harris is a tough, Outside tough running back. 320 to go in the half. Pick up of seven for Kamori Harris. A sophomore. Looking to throw it. And it's caught over the 30 to the 33 yard line by Delion Welch. It'll be a first down for the Tigers. First Bank of Alabama first down. Monte Carmichael, the senior quarterback. This is Richard Weed and Weed breaking tackles and he's across the 40 yard line. Weed picked up about seven. He's just a freshman, so he's gonna be a, a, a young guy that you'll hear from uh, for a while at B.B. Comer. Got a holding against the Tigers, however, that's gonna wipe off that run. Coach Fawcett not gonna like these penalties. be a 10-yard mark off to near the 30-yard line. 
Well, that negates a nice run by the freshman, Weed. It'll be first down now and long. Homer penalized for blocking the back. We want to hear leads it 20 to 7. By Michael Pumps, he's gonna pull it down and run it. And he is tackled at the 39 yard line. That's a good run for the Tigers. Stop by Jones and the Zell. At the 39. Second down. Here's Harris. Bulls his way across midfield. Harris, big first down for the Tigers. First bank of Alabama first down here midfield. 20 to 7. We're getting late in the first half. And penalty flags are down again. Legal procedure against BB Coleman. Wow. Tigers penalized for false start. They've had a bait of penalties here in the first half. And B.B. Comer. Uh, in a timeout call, it'll be first down and 15. We're at Legion Stadium in Silicon. B.B. Comer uh, leading 20 to 7, a minute 24 remaining in the first half. And, uh, you know, B.B. Comer is probably going to have to get down the field uh, pretty quickly. And they've shown uh, times that they've thrown the ball well downfield and other times not so successful. But with a minute 24 to go in the half, probably going to have to uh, air it out a little bit. Peace about the Medical Center in Sylacauga, one of our wonderful sponsors of high school football. and. Uh, our largest employer in the city and what a great job they've done uh, those nurses and doctors and all the the people at Coosa Valley Medical Center with COVID-19 we're working in the second year of this now a year and a half now and it just uh, wears on everybody but they've stayed the course and we applaud them tonight all the employees at Coosa Valley Medical Center in Silicon at the 45 yard line after the timeout. Weed is going to line up in the slot down here at the bottom of the screen. Carmichael to throw it. Now he steps up, he's going to roll and throw. And he got him out open and off the hands of the intended receiver. And that's going to be 15 yards probably against the uh, horseshoe uh, bend for a late hit. You can see that coming. The official walking, referee walking down to check with the other officials, and it's going to be a 15 yard mark off against uh, Horseshoe Bend. BB Comer leading 20 to 7. The pass was incomplete uh, off the hands of Weed. But the penalty is going to help the Tigers. So they call a legal man downfield to BB Comer and a personal foul against, oh my goodness. So it's an uh, offsetting penalties. Wow. That's the second time BB Comer has had an uh, illegal man downfield. I don't know what the issue the is there with that, but. Coach Fawcett not going to be pleased with that at all. And then uh, the personal foul penalty uh, against Horseshoe Bend. Now the thing is negated. And a minute 16 to go in what has been a second quarter. They've been kind of sloppy, to be honest with you. And a lot of penalties. So, uh, E.B. Comer will work now with a first down and about five, looks like. 
from the 45 yard line after all that said and done. And the officials are still not quite sure We'll get it here in a minute. First down and five for B.B. Comer at the Horseshoe Bend 45 yard by. Comer will have first down and five yards to go. Here's Carmichael. Blitz is coming. Carmichael with the pass to Weed and it's incomplete. Carmichael pass intended for Weed. It does stop the clock, incomplete. however. Second down, and Weed was open, but uh, the pass short hopped him. It'll be second down. Don't forget our halftime show tonight. Both bands will be performing. We'll have uh, halftime highlights uh, as well from plays from the first half. Tamori Harris back in the game now, and they give it to Harris. And Harris breaks some tackles, and there he goes again. Look at the big guy go. My goodness. What a load he is all the way to the 15 yard line for Maury Harris. A first bank of Alabama first down. And he just uh, shook off. Another penalty flag is down, however. Let's wait and see. That may be a holding against B.B. Comer again. Harris uh, with a strong, strong run. Yeah, he just. I think one of the receivers downfield trying to block for Harris uh, was called for holding, so that marks that off. Both load of penalties against B.B. Calmer in the first half. So the one more play here in the uh, first half, and B.B. Calmer would have had it first down at the 15-yard line with uh, one more play to go, but now then it's uh, a play to go and they're back at their own 45 yard line. Excuse me, it's about a minute to go, I'm told now. We're, we've got some issues with our clock. Carmichael pulls it down to run. He's got some room, 40, 35, cuts it inside, 30, 25, 22 yard line goes Devontae Carmichael and a great play by Carmichael. First bank of Alabama first down. It was not by Sharp on the play. That was a great athletic play by Carmichael. And they go right back to work. And uh, Maury Harris on the carry. And the Tigers Harris call a timeout. timeout. They lead it by a score of 20 to seven. Late in the first half at Legion Stadium in Sorcaga. B.B. Comer trying to improve to five and two on the year, including uh, another region win. They did by a score of 20 to seven. A little, under, a little less than 40 seconds remaining in the first half. The second quarter would be one that uh, you remember lagged more than anything else probably. And a lot of that, goodness. B.B. Comer trying to overcome uh, some of the uh, mistakes in the first half, and, and they can feel good about it if they get a touchdown in here. They're at the 19-yard line. The Horseshoe Bend trying to make a stop defensively. Carmichael to take the snap, but he's going to look to throw it. He rushed out of the pocket, now throws, and it is incomplete at about the 12-yard line, trying to get Carmichael it to Chris Garrett. Garrett so second down, clock stops. Brings up third and, uh, down, six yards to get The uh, general defense put pressure on Carmichael then. He had to... Hurry his throw. 
So big uh, play here for the Tigers as well as for the Generals. He rides it off to the big man. He's inside the 10, spins to the eight yard line. It'll be first and goal and the clock continues to run. Now then they'll stop it. It'll be a Sarah Automotive Red Zone first Alabama Bank first down for the Tigers and the Tigers get a timeout. Uh, 20 to 7. The Tigers trying to put more points on the board. They're first and goal to go at the Horseshoe Bend eight yard line. Talladega County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington. We mentioned earlier in the show, Cindy was just today sworn in for her new full term. She had been uh, fulfilling the term uh, of. Uh, a person who held that position, but uh, Cindy was sworn in for her full term today. Talley County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, and she has been a real uh, plus for Talladega County since she took over Revenue Commissioner's office. So we appreciate her and being a part of high school football here on WOTM and WOIL television. We bring you action every week throughout the regular season, and of course. WOTM is host to uh, the uh, finals of high school football from Progressive Stadium. I think it's Progressive this year, I believe. As they open up that new stadium uh, this weekend with uh, UAB hosting Liberty. First and goal for the Tigers. Looking, rolling away from pressure now, throwing into the corner. Incomplete. Incomplete. Trying to get it to Cortez Harris. Harris. Cortez Harris, uh, the senior. Pass ball is incomplete. 14.5 seconds to go. B.B. Comer trying to get a touchdown late in the first half. Looking, throwing, and it is incomplete. Good job defensively, and boy, the, the hit was put on uh, Richard Weed, and he is hurt again. Weed's been hurt a couple of times here in the first half. So that was a hard hit on the Horseshoe Bend safety. So the Tigers. Uh, We'll see about weed and we'll see about a commercial break and we'll come back in 30 seconds with the ending of the first half. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. So they're helping Richard Weed off the field. He was really shaken up on that hit. So Weed is uh, beyond the end line in the end zone, the end zone that B.B. Comer is headed to. So hopefully he's okay and they continue to uh, see about him. The referee is uh, looking to make sure he can get off uh, the field. So here we go, B.B. Comer will uh, take a snap here with third down and go. The ball is at the nine or eight yard, uh, make it, yeah, the eight yard line. Third and go. The big thing is a very short of time. It's been a very long first half too, especially the second quarter. 
Here's Carmichael throwing, and this one is it's a touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers! And that's Tamori Harris, his third touchdown of the night. And he just throws it where nobody can get to it but Harris, and Harris does the rest. Swimmer will attempt the extra point. So it's 26 to 7. With Wimmer to attempt the point after, and that was a big touchdown for the Tigers to end the first half. Kick it up by Wimmer, and the kick is good. So the Tigers lead by 20, 27 to 7, with just uh, a few seconds left in the first half. Again, we apologize for our scoreboard issues tonight, or the clock issues, I should say. And, we get that ironed out somewhere along the line. You see the scoreboard clock showing uh, three and a half seconds to go in the half. The Tigers leading the Generals 27 to 7. The Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week brought to you by Sarah uh, Automotive with uh, Tony Sarah Ford, uh, Sarah Honda, and Sarah Nissan. All here in Silicaga. They got some great savings going on right now at uh, Sarah Automotive. Be sure to tell Don and the folks we ask you to come by. Will be kicking for the we appreciate them being a part of our uh, coverage. As B.B. Comer prepares to kick off. Allman kicks off. Very short kick falling on at the 45 yard line. The first half comes to a close. BB Colmer with a late That's touchdown a throw uh, from Carmichael to Harris has extended the BB Colmer lead to 27 7. Harris with two touchdown runs and a touchdown reception here in the first half. We'll get to our halftime show brought to you by Marble City Pharmacy from Legion Stadium right after this. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Marching General's Halftime Show. The 2021 show is titled Diva. Selections tonight include Respect, made popular by Aretha Franklin, the original diva and queen of soul. Bad Guy by current teenage diva Billie Eilish and Crazy in Love by Beyonce. Drum Major Colton Cook is your band ready.
this band's over and out until you won't find it. It's challenging. Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money, so we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Now offering Tempur-Pedic's newest ProBreeze cooling mattress. Cooler when you lie down, cooler when you fall asleep, and cooler all night long. Wellness spaces are also available. Visit King's Mattress Gallery downtown Sylacauga today. Your local Sealy and Tempur-Pedic retailer. Tired of being treated as a zero at car dealers? Well, at the Sierra Automotive Group in Sylacauga, you're the hero with zero down and low monthly payments. Tony Sarah Ford says try zero down on F-150s with payments starting at $419 per month. Sarah Honda says zero down on Civic LXs starting at $339 per month. Sarah Nissan says zero down on new Nissan Kicks and payments starting at $299 per month. At Sarah Automotive, you're never a zero with zero down and low monthly payments. Sarah Automotive, located on Highway 280 in Sylacauga.
Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. The band is under the field direction of drum major Nicholas McDaniel, fellow guard captain Caroline Hudgens, and percussion captains Ethan Price and Josh Walls. This year's halftime show pays tribute to legendary British bands, the Animals, the Rolling Stones, and the Beatles. Tonight's opening selection is House of the Rising Sun, featuring Anna Weber on trumpet, and septet players Joni McDonald, Nicholas McDaniel, Carla Chavez, Nathan Wheeler, Cheyenne Huckabee, and Nam Wynn. The band will then perform a crazy little thing called Bluff, featuring the percussion section and conclude with Hey Jude, featuring the trumpet duet of Hannah Weber and Joni McDonald. Drum Major Nicholas McDaniel, is your band ready?
gentlemen, the marching sound of gold. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years, and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Great job by both the marching bands tonight. Uh, once you've been, the Rebel, or excuse me, the Generals, and B.B. Uh, Comer, the Tiger, marching sound the goal. B.B. Comer leads at halftime 27 to 7. We'll take a look at uh, some of the highlights from the first half, and Kamori Harris from uh, 25 yards out, and you can see why he won the top back to the state of Alabama. Kamori Harris will one of his three touchdowns uh, in the first half. The Tigers uh, uh, take uh, an early lead, and then Devontae Carmichael from two yards out. B.B. Comer up 13 to nothing, but the uh, Generals fight right back. Uh, nice drive by the Generals. They uh, throw a little toss to Brazel, and he uh, jukes a potential tackler and dives to the pylon, and it's 13 to seven. But B.B. Comer right back. Here is Kamori Harris, a nice little slip step from three yards out. And uh, toward the end of the half, what a perfect throw and a perfect catch from Carmichael to Kamari Harris. So B.B. Comer leads 27 to seven at halftime. Other games uh, being played uh, tomorrow night and tonight, uh, Fayetteville is playing over at Randolph County tonight, uh, Winterboro, now they're playing TC tonight uh, at TC. We don't have any scores on those, but we do know that uh, uh, those uh, two games are being uh, played tonight. Tomorrow night, uh, it is uh, uh, Sylacauga uh, hosting Elmore County and Childersburg uh, traveling to Beulah. So more high school football action tomorrow night. Uh, Central of Coosa County Cougars, they are off uh, this week as uh, they take a week off and they'll be back in action next week. B.B. Comer leads this one 27 to 7 at halftime and uh, you know uh, a lot of people make a lot of difference in our community and we uh, spotlight them including Coosa Valley Medical Center and uh, what a great organization they are medical facility here in Sylacauga and uh, you know from the emergency department to surgery all the way through the hospital uh, to the to the COVID floor to the ICU it's just been a total team effort for Coosa Valley Medical Center to get through 
uh, this COVID crisis. You know, this thing started back in March of last year, and here we are uh, past uh, the summer, into the fall, and it's still going on. You know that those first liners, uh, those nurses and doctors and medical professionals uh, have to be so tired but we applaud them for the great work they do. And then you take people like uh, the staff at Marble City Pharmacy. You know, they've been giving shots and they, uh, they're giving the flu shots right now at Marble City Pharmacy. So whether it's, and you see uh, the big crowd here from B.B. Calmer tonight uh, at the stadium, but it, it takes a complete team effort. And we're proud that, that Sylacauga, Alabama, has just been exactly that uh, and continues to be uh, the Marble City of Silicon. Greg Funderburg. Greg Funderburg started with me in broadcasting as a, I think he was a junior in high school at Childersburg way on back years ago and I think it was uh, 2000 maybe and uh, Greg uh, did his internship with us and now then he is an award-winning anchor uh, in uh, Chattanooga, I think he's in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, I talk to Greg uh, every once in a while. He just won a big award uh, announced today. So congratulations to my friend Greg Funderburg and what a great brother in the Lord he is, and just a fine young man. So congratulations to uh, Greg Funderburg, uh, making it big from his hometown of Sylacauga, Alabama. B.B. Comer will kick off to uh, start the third quarter uh, leading by a score of um, 27 to 7. Wimmer puts the foot into it and again is taken into the 25 yard line running laterally is uh, the kickoff return man and I have his number, his number. I got his number but I don't have a name to go with it so uh, so Carmichael down on the uh, kickoff coverage team so B.B. Calmer will line up on defense and let's see if they make some adjustments with this offense that uh, gave them some problems in the first half. Even though B.B. Calmer leads it 27 to seven, the generals uh, reeled off some big chunks of yardage against this Tiger defense. Luke Jones, the quarterback, he leaves it with the first man through and slammed down after a gain of three. Good uh, job defensively by the Biggie Comer defensive front. Stopped by Harris. Harris, more Harris. Uh, more is a, a linebacker, too. three yards. And uh, he slammed the ball carrier down for a gain of three, so second down and seven. Gavin Brazel had an outstanding first half along with Hope Tidwell for uh, the Generals. Sharp lines up in the backfield now. <coughs> this is Tidwell. B.B. Comer wraps him up. He got a couple of yards, that's all. Harris stepping out on the tackle. Along okay. with uh, Corey Anderson. So third down. At the 39 yard line. Third and about five. Possession down for the Generals, trailing 27 to seven. Valley County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington presenting the third quarter action. He'd be calling showing blitz and walked the linebackers up and uh, caught in the backfield and slammed down for a big loss. Giselle uh, had no chance as B.B. Comer just wrapped him up. Harris, one of the first to get there again, so it's fourth down and long for the Generals, and they like to punt it away. So B.B. Comer, uh, more physical here in the third quarter so far. Anderson, kept out on the tackle, so it's fourth down and long, so the Generals will punt it away. Good snap, and the punt is out. And it's a pretty good punt, too. 
Taken at the 25 yard line on the left sideline. And going out of bounds is a young guy that got hurt a couple times in the first half. That's Richard Weed. So B.B. Coleman will take over first down and 10. Leading 27 to seven. We talked about Cindy Pennington earlier and uh, people who, who really do great jobs uh, in our county. And Cindy is one of those uh, people as she was elected uh, to serve as Tyler County Revenue Commissioner and uh, went into office early. And uh, she's done a, a tremendous job, Cindy Pennington. A little flip pass. And it's trying to get the receiver one-on-one. -on -one. They can't as the generals uh, wrap the receiver up for a game of about three yards, maybe, maybe four yards. The pass complete to James Carmichael. T.J. Stiegel on the tackle. Oh, Stiegel's name a lot of times. Pick up a four on the play, second down and four. Senior quarterback, Devontae Carmichael. He's been a good one. Nothing happening right there. Man, I'll slam the ball carry down. Odom carry, hit it the line Odom. The ball carrier, but nobody fooled. And that big uh, Dewey Freeman, he's 6'1, 245 pounds, and he has plugged the hole up. So third down and seven with a loss of a yard on the play. Welch in the backfield with Carmichael, and they will bring Chris Garrett in as well. So third down and seven for B.B. Coleman. Our Michael looks and throws. They're setting up a little screen and nothing doing. The generals were not food. Brazzle up on the tackle in a hurry, so it's fourth down and nine. So both defenses uh, showing well here in the third quarter. And we apologize for the clock issue. We're not able to uh, get everything just right with the clock. We'll try to get it before the game's over with maybe. Here's the kick, and it's a short punt. Very short punt. It does take a B.B. Coleman roll, but my goodness, that's at the 43-yard line. The Generals will have it first down and 10 in Tiger territory. Very poor punt. So B.B. Coleman leading 27 to seven. General Coach Fawcett talked down. about uh, his special teams and uh, gonna have to do some more work on it. First down and 10 for the Generals. Tripped up in the backfield is Mc, McMath. McMath, Kate. Lost a couple of yards. E.B. Comer averaging over 50 points a game the last three games. As a matter of fact, 158 points in the last three games they've scored. Lost at four, second down and 14. Jones under center. With that double wing. Jones wants to throw it, throws, and Stiegel caught it at the 40 yard line. Jones pass, complete yard. It is complete. At the 41 yard line. Pass complete to Sharp. Now they say it's incomplete. It was third down. Marked it uh, at the 41 yard line, and then they picked it up and brought it back. So it's the Tiger 48, third down and 13. Blitz is coming, and he is hammered. <laughs> Linebacker John Murphy really drilled the quarterback. He fumbled the football, and Biggie Palmer 
uh, picks it up and rambles with it is Zachariah Carpenter. Zach Carpenter, watch this. Look at number 20 blowing through. And he hits the quarterback. The ball bounces out into the hands of Zach Carpenter. And the big junior, he's off to the races. So it's a first down, B.B. Coleman at the 14 yard, 13 yard line. But that was all uh, made possible by linebacker John Murphy. Here's Carmichael. Nothing. Nothing happened. Over to make the stop in a hurry. Tidwell. Tidwell. So second down and long. Play loses three yards. For BB Coleman. Hey, At the 16 yard line. Really? I'm not going to look and throw. Now he pulls it down. He's in trouble. Tries to sprint away and cannot do it. Pull down back at the 28 yard line. No. Now, we want to give credit where credit is due. We have a roster from uh, Horseshoe Bend that has numbers and names, but they don't have a number 50. And he just made the sack. Under five minutes remaining in the third quarter, B.B. Coleman leading 27 to seven. They get it all the way to the three yard line and get a first down though. They clip it to Weed and Weed is hemmed up and he's tackled at the 27 yard line. And this time it's uh, Sharp, the linebacker. So fourth down. And Comer not having much success offensively here in the third quarter. So fourth down and they're in no man's land. They got to go for it here. Well, Michael's going to have to go it deep and he throws in the double coverage and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to uh, James Carmichael, but great coverage. Broken up in the end zone. With uh, Shivers back there. Phillip was a defender for the general. So it'll be first down for the generals as they take over after B.B. Comer got the fumble recovery and uh, inside the 15 yard line could do nothing with it, went backwards. Generals will take possession at their own 27 yard line. So the generals will have it first down and 10 from their own 27. First down and 10. And off right in. And hard, hard running by Gavin Brazel, the senior, 5'11, 155 pounds. These guys will uh, make it tough on you. Picked up about eight. Second down and a couple. We're late in the third quarter, B.B. Coma leads it 27 to seven. B.B. Coma showing blitz again. And uh, Big linebacker steps in there and makes a tackle again, John Murphy. Murphy and Graham make the tackle. Graham out in there too. So they're gonna move the change as a first down. First down. First bank of Alabama first down for the generals of Horseshoe Bend High School. Rick Marsh being a sponsor again of high school football. A handoff inside, big running room. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's going to catch him or not. Finally tracking him down to the six-yard line. What a great run by McMath. 
Be first and go, and this guy, he got great speed, and look at that hole. And he running north and south. And B.B. Comer cannot catch him. Finally, uh, speeding over to save a touchdown is Deleon Welch, so it's first and go over Horseshoe Bend. At the Tiger six yard line. Wishbone offense, they go inside and lowering his head is sharp and he has nowhere to go. The Tigers, good there defensively. A minute 50 to go in the third quarter. No scoring so far here in the quarter. Second and goal from just outside the five yard line. Pitch, and this time B.B. Coleman waiting on it. The big defensive end, uh, Hagen DeLee, the senior. Horse collars, Gavin Brazel, and his third down and goal. That's a play they scored on earlier. B.B. Coleman made better penetration then. And Hagen DeLee has uh, played himself a good football game so far. Third and goal, but it's back at the 11-yard line. Jones on the center, double wing, blitz is coming. He flips it into incomplete inside the five-yard line. Good coverage by James Carmichael, so it's fourth down now. Really, they didn't have a good chance with that one as uh, pass thrown a little bit too quick. And Shivers was the intended receiver, so it's fourth down. Of course, you've been going for the touchdown here, trailing 27 to 7, very late in the third quarter. Rolling right, looking, looking, throwing, and it's been complete. So B.B. Combo will take over on downs. That's good coverage by Carmichael. So B.B. Combo with a great defensive stand. So B.B. Combo closes the door on Horseshoe Bend. Holding against the general decline. Remember, they had it at the four-yard line. So the Tigers' defense stands tall. And they take over on downs after a nice defensive stop by B.B. Comer's defense. So the Tigers will have it uh, at the 11-yard line. And we've got a timeout here. We'll take a quick one as well. Back to Legion Stadium right after this. Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money, so we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Maybe you call the first down, leading 27 to seven. Mm. Good penetration as Welch is knocked down in the backfield. And again, it is uh, Hope Chidwell. The Comer going backwards here at their own six yard line, make it a seven yard line. And the third quarter is going to come to a close. And B.B. Comer heads to the fourth quarter with a 27 7 lead over the Horseshoe Bend General. This is the Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week on WOTM, WOIL TV 47. Tired of being treated as a zero at car dealers? 
Well, at the Sierra Automotive Group in Sylacauga, you're the hero with zero down and low monthly payments. Tony Sarah Ford says try zero down on F-150s with payments starting at $419 per month. Sarah Honda says zero down on Civic LXs starting at $339 per month. Sarah Nissan says zero down on new Nissan Kicks and payments starting at $299 per month. At Sarah Automotive, you're never a zero with zero down and low monthly payments. Sarah Automotive, located on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. At times, B.B. Comer has been challenged tonight, but they've stood the test defensively. They've given up some big plays, but when push came to shove, they shut the door most of the night. Offense has got to get on track here in the third, uh, fourth quarter as B.B. Comer leads 27-7. This is a big region matchup for both these teams. B.B. Comer uh, with another region game next week, and it's on the road at Fayetteville. The Carmichael Blitz is coming, drops the football. He's almost tackled in the end zone. They tackle him at the one-yard line. It's almost a disaster. Carmichael stopped. Wow. Logistics with integrity. That's my buddy Rick Marks. The guy doesn't have any trucks, but he moves a lot of freight. Logistics with integrity. Rick Marks. Third and long. Here's Rambling. Oh, look at this cut right here. Again, he's over the 20 yard line. It's a first down from BB Comer. For more Harris. What a great run. Watch this. Good blocking right there. Gets a block there. And uh, he does the rest. Maury Harris, a first down, B.B. Comer. First down sponsored by First Bank of Alabama. At the 23-yard line, give the Tigers a little operating room. Here's Harris again. Look at the big guy go. Look at him go. Now tell me... He's not an all-state player. He runs it all the way to the 22-yard line, Kamori Harris. And he just uh, out of breath as he hadn't played the last uh, week and a half. But he, you just, you know, he breaks tackles. He's got great speed and great balance. Shifts hands well with the football. And he finally run down at the 22-yard line. So he gets a little breather. B.B. Comer's had trouble down here as they get near the red zone. 10-23 uh, to go in the football game. B.B. Comer 27, Horseshoe Bend 7. They get down here, they've had some problems. But so has Horseshoe Bend. And let's see what the officials. Now they're going to start the clock back. So first down and 10 for B.B. Comer. At the 22-yard line in general territory. Not much for Deleon Welch, off right guard. Second down. And B.B. Comer is content, you know, let's just run the football if we can and run this clock. Quarterback keeper breaking a tackle. Nice run by Devontae Carmichael. And look at Scott still running inside the 10 yard line. Carmichael not one of those young guys that you can just knock down. He, he's tough. For another Tiger first down. It's a first down sponsored by First Bank of Alabama. First down and goal for the Tigers at the nine yard line. Headed south. No, excuse me, headed north. He's a north of Dixie Drug, right? A former Dixie Drug. Big hole. 
huge hole and a touchdown for Deleon Wells. That offensive line, watch. If, they, if we get a replay, watch this offensive line just open a huge, huge hole for uh, Welch. And he runs in untouched. So it's 33 to 7. Point after by Weimer. It's at, it's at the church. 9.09 to go in the game. Place down, kick up, and the kick is true. Wiggins' kick is good. So BB Comer increases their lead over the. Uh, what's, look at this hole. I'm telling you, they. Man, that was like the Red Sea opening up for Deleon Welch. 34 to 7, Big B Comer with the lead. 9.19 to go in the game. We'll be back to lead the stadium after this. Coosa Valley Medical Center. One of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Comer increases the lead to 34 to 7 over Horseshoe Bend. That's the lone points have been scored here in the second half so far. Weimer prepares to kick off. Bobble to the 20 yard line and circling around is McMath and he's tackled at the 18 yard line. The special team covered by BB Comer. Chris Garrett down there. Right by Garrett, Welch, and Weed. Welch and Weed there also. So first down Horseshoe Bend, but in a lot of trouble trading 34 to seven. Keep it going, sends in Adam Odom. Single coverage to the top of the screen. And off left end is Tidwell. And Tidwell's across the 30 yard line. So second down. BB Comer defense has given up one score tonight. Been some big runs, but uh, only one score. Great job defensively by the Tigers. Holman, along with uh, Harvey. And DeLee, approaching eight minutes in the game. 34 to seven. and Holman. B.B. Comer with the lead. You mentioned the, the Tigers on the road for a region game next Friday night against Fayetteville. And then they will host Vincent for homecoming and then conclude the regular season on the road at Randolph County. Good penetration by the Tigers. Odom brings the ball carrier down in the backfield. Sharp carry stop by Odom. Sharp on the carry. Odom loses the yard on the play. 34 to Three seven. BB Comer leading Horseshoe Bend. You look at BB Comer's schedule, and uh, you know they got a they got a good chance to run the table the rest of the way. Uh, Fayetteville, Benson, and Randolph County they're going to be favoring all three of those games. Back keep. I haven't seen Jones do that much, and that's probably the reason why. Jones goes around left, he picks up three yards. Carmichael helping out on the tackle. Stop by Har Hallman and Harvey. Hallman over there helping out too. 
clock continues to move. The Tigers lead it 34 to seven. Fourth down and about nine. And uh, looks like uh, General is gonna punt. And they do. All right, climbing punt. It's taken in. Fair kicks call for it, the 36 yard line. Big Tigers first down. And B.B. Calm will have it as uh, Richard Weed. 6.09 to go in down. the football game. Layfield with a nice punt down. for the Generals. B.B. Calm will go to work at their own 36-yard line. The officials uh, look into the Tigers' sideline. With us about. Down, they'll mark it now at the 36. The Tigers leading 34 to 7. Carmichael to Sim. We, we've seen Sims with some spurts this year of uh, success. He's a uh, freshman. Tidwell on the tackle. Well, they've had a lot of tackles tonight. They got some good athletes on this Horseshoe Bend football team. <coughs> but just not enough tonight to uh, overcome B.B. Coleman. Clock continuing to move. And Horseshoe Ben, good penetration, and down goes Sim again. <coughs> Third and long, clock continues to move, 30 and 10. Approaching five minutes to go in the game. Andy Coleman will improve to five and two. Look at this guy. He's got great ability now. All the way to the 40 yard line. That's the first bank of Alabama first down. Another Tiger first down. And Sims just uh, made a lot of that on his own. Two or three missed tackles, and uh, Sims with the first bank of Alabama first down at the general 40 yard line. Here's Sims again, pick up a nine. Sims carries again up the middle. Right, he's just a freshman, so Coach Fawcett is uh, building this team from the ground up. Devin Harvey, the sophomore, is in, in at quarterback now. You'll be seeing a lot of him at Sims. Harvey keeps it this time. And Harvey is slammed down at the 28-yard line. So first bank of Alabama first down. Number 50. That's good for another <coughs> Tiger first down. Well, B.B. Culver, uh, I was looking at their schedule. They lost to Montgomery Catholic, beat Childersburg, lost to Lynette uh, to go one and one, but they came back to beat Lafette, Ranburn, Winterboro. This will be their fourth win in a row. Here's Sims again. He picks up eight to the 21 yard line. So B.B. Calmer, uh, Montgomery Catholic, is uh, a top two or three team in class 3A, maybe the top team this week. Uh, Childersburg is down, of course, but Lynette, they're the second ranked team in 2A. B.B. Calmer goes on the road to beat Lafette. Uh, beat Ranbert at home, beat Winnemar on the road, and are going to beat, uh, defeat Horseshoe Bend here at home. Connor will be flagged. Nice start. Fault start against the Tigers. It was a false start. The 
will be five and two after tonight with Fayetteville, Vincent, and Randolph County, the final three games of the regular season. Coach Fawcett wanted that 10th game, so he, uh, the only team that was available <coughs> late August, August 20th, was Montgomery Catholic. And uh, going backwards is Richard Weed. So Coach Fawcett scheduled the game with Montgomery Catholic knowing uh, great football. They were in the finals last year, and uh, they uh, are excellent this year, but he knew that competition would be good for his team. So they improved uh, immensely next week against Schulenberg, and they could have easily beat Lynette. Remember that game? Uh, B.B. Comer had a chance to win late in the game and uh, uh, just couldn't get it done. Uh, big stand by Lynette defensively. On that little screen, they may have too many men down the field this time. If not, that's a close to a touchdown for Sim. You look Another at those big linemen, look at them. Down. They were down the field, but hey. Raylon Sim, the freshman. Sim stopped at the one yard line. Uh, rambles first to the one yard line play. after the little middle screen. So his first and goal is B.B. Comer. Looks like they're going in again. 34 to seven, first bank of Alabama, first down and goal at the one yard line. Sims just walked right in the end zone for another Tiger touchdown. Very impressed with Raylon Sims. He's a good looking athlete. 40 to 7. The point after the follow with Weimer out of the hole of Carmichael. Only a minute 30 left in the game. 40 to 7. Place down, kick up, and the kick is no good. So Weimer misses for the second time tonight. No good. So it's 40 to seven, B.B. Palmer uh, with the lead with uh, 90 seconds to go in this one. And uh, B.B. Palmer improved to five and two. Horseshoe Bend with the loss to the Tigers tonight. We'll see their record fall and uh, B.B. Palmer will move on to Fayetteville next week to take on uh, Don Limbaugh, Fayetteville Wolves. This one's about done, 40 to seven, B.B. Palmer. They led 27 to seven at halftime. Weimer will be kicking off. Weimer will kick off for the Tigers. One more time. We have a change. Don't forget uh, Sulacaga at this stadium tomorrow night. They'll take on Elmore County. Catch that one on the radio. And Weaver with the kick. And it's going to go out of bounds. And again, Coach Fawcett not going to like that. So it will be a first down. Weimer is just a sophomore, so he's going to get better and better and better. First year to play organized football. So with the 35, it'll be first down and 10 for uh, Horseshoe Bend Generals. Correction, first down from the 36-yard line. First, we're going to take a timeout. And the generals take a timeout. We'll take a final one as well with B.B. Comer on top by a score Same of 40 to 7. Do. The Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week continues yeah. after this. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, 
here for life. Horseshoe Bend will fall to two and four overall, one and three in region play after tonight's loss at the hands of B.B. Coleman. They'll be back in action next week. It's a beautiful community. Uh, with Horseshoe Bend. At the General Restaurant down there, and right there on 22 uh, East. Beautiful area of Alabama. First down and 10 for the Generals. Wishbone offense. And a mix up in the backfield. And B.B. Palmer surrounds the ball carrier, and that's Chris Garrett, along with. Uh, Gaddis. 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 So second down, the clock continuing to move along. Be a minute or so left in the next snap. Just a couple of more plays, and this one will be history. Coach Adam Fossett is uh, continuing to turn this football team with B.B. Comer uh, going the right direction. A lot of people excited about this program. Wishbone attack again. And uh, getting a couple of three yards, and that's about all. Woods carries by the general. So BB Comer will improve their season record. This will be their uh, fourth win in a row. Coach Jeremy Phillips, the head football coach at Horseshoe Bend High School. This team will be back uh, in action next week. This is probably going to be the final play as Anderson, the quarterback, on the pitch. B.B. Palmer surrounds the ball carrier and slams him down at the 37-yard line, and that should just about do it. B.B. Palmer will win it by a score of 40-7 to over the uh, Horseshoe Bend Generals. B.B. Palmer led 27-7 to at halftime. And uh, get a couple more touchdowns here in the second half to win it convincingly by a score of 40 to 7. You see Coach Fawcett going out uh, to uh, talk with Coach Phillips just for a minute, and uh, it's good to see the coaches. You see the players exchanging pleasantries uh, after a hard-fought football game. And B.B. Comer uh, wins this one by a score of 40 to 7. They improved to 5 and 2 uh, on the season and uh, improved uh, to uh, with their region record as well and they're back uh, in action next week uh, against Fayetteville on the road. We look at uh, highlights from uh, tonight's contest in the first half that was dominated by B.B. Comer and Kamori Harris. He runs this one in from 25 yards. A sophomore who didn't play last week against Winterboro gets the Tigers going early. Devontae Carmichael from two yards out and the Tigers up 13 to nothing. Horseshoe Ben not giving up, however. And they uh, run a little play off of a right end and uh, get points on the board. B.B. Comer had a shot at him, a little juke step there. And he outraces the defender to the pylon and it's 13 to seven. But back comes B.B. Comer. Here's Harris again from eight yards out. Kamori Harris, not to be outdone. You're gonna catch a pass this time from Devontae Carmichael. Three first half touchdowns for Kamori Harris. B.B. Comer leads it 27 to seven. Here in the uh, second half, it's Deleon Welch. And finally, uh, Sims with a touchdown and B.B. Comer wins it going away by a score of 40 to seven. Kamori Harris had a, a monster of a game tonight running the football. Devontae Carmichael had a, a good night uh, throwing it and running it. Uh, B.B. Comer's ready on Sims. Uh, the freshman came in and, and had a good fourth quarter. Richard Weed, he's just a freshman. You're going to see a lot more of him. Uh, B.B. Comer's offensive line did what they needed to do. B.B. Comer's defense, uh, led by linebacker John Murphy, uh, shut the door in the second half. They gave up one score in the game entirely. B.B. Comer wins it by a score of 40 to seven. We'll be back with you next week for a high school game of the week. We'll make a decision 
we will be in Fayetteville or at Legion Stadium here in Sylacauga. I'll let you know that first of the week. B.B. Comer wins this one by a score of 40 to 7. For all our broadcast team, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Stay safe. Hope your favorite high, uh, college football team wins this weekend. And uh, maybe the Braves win their division tonight. Final score again from Legion Stadium. B.B. Comer 40, Horseshoe Ben 7. I'm Jim Adele Abrams. Stay safe, everyone. Good night. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years, and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Now offering Tempur-Pedic's newest ProBreeze cooling mattress. Cooler when you lie down, cooler when you fall asleep, and cooler all night long. Wellness spaces are also available. Visit King's Mattress Gallery downtown Sylacauga today. Your local Sealy and Tempur-Pedic retailer.